Hello everyone, bringing you a video today talking about these, uh, and these are early issue 1908 cartridge carriers, repros thereof, made in, in India and purchased direct from India through eBay. Um, I've had a set of Soldier of Fortune reproduction cartridge carriers there, higher quality 1908 cartridge carriers for a while now. Uh, they're the later type, I wanted some to suit early Great War uh, and just pre-war, and so I, I was looking for a set without these straps on the left hand uh, the left hand um, cartridge carriers here, which of course were added because men were losing ammunition when they lent up against parapets. Uh, and as a result, straps were added to the lower set of pouches to prevent this from happening. Um, but prior to this, this is what they looked like. They were basically just a handed pair, um, sort of a mirror image. And I wanted to get reproductions of these as well. Now, Soldier of Fortunes are selling for nearly 90 pounds now a pair, um, which is quite an outlay. Um, and I was interested. Uh, looking for a cheaper alternative. Now I had a look on eBay um, and there are various ind Indian manufacturers selling on eBay and basically many of them visually look quite wrong. Uh, they're lacking one of the major visual features is on the front of the 1908 uh, cartridge carriers the pouch should be puckered and you can see that down below here it's reduction weaving actually uh, to taper the pouch in to follow the fit of, to, to fit neatly fit the the chargers with obviously the rounds tapering down to the bottom it's quite a visually distinct element of 1908 and having a facsimile of that even if it's not wholly accurate is better than having a smooth fronted pouch in my opinion um, it just adds something it makes it look that bit more realistic I suppose and this listing had photographs clearly showing that and I thought well I'll take a punt. Um, they were just over £30 less than buying from Soldier of Fortune, and that included postage. The postage was included. And I thought, I'll take a risk. eBay's generally pretty good if you want to return stuff. You know, if I have to pay return postage, I'm probably going to be £20 down. I'll risk it for the experiment and see what they're like. And I have to say, I am pleasantly surprised. They are essentially the same quality of manufacturer as Soldier of Fortune, high quality cartridge carriers. The press studs and so forth are not great, but they're basically the same as those you find on Soldier Fortune, so there's no loss there, per se. It's always an issue with reproduction webbing I've found is that they can't get the press studs right. But they're not m a million miles off and they do work. The tips on the webbing and everything are actually quite good quality. Um, the, the webbing itself is essentially the same quality as that you would get if you bought from Soldier Fortune. Um, which is what I'm comparing this to because obviously I bought these rather than buying from Soldier of Fortune. And overall, quite impressed. Obviously, you do have the two press studs for the closure there, the two male sections, so you can close it uh, tight over two or three uh, chargers. Details around the back here, you've got the, the two-inch strap coming down and the one-inch strap over to the side here to hook onto the, uh, to, to attach to the haversack or the pack on the back. Um, obviously, straps to go around the belt there with the press studs, as you saw at the front. The large sea hooks again quite good quality fittings really the buckle's pretty good not rough uh not a very rough finish on it it's, it's quite a good uh, quite a good finish uh would clean up quite nicely obviously rivet at the top here the manufacturer the quality is not bad at all one thing is of course that there is a gap there uh this is not something you find on soldier of fortune's pouches they're just stitched on at, at each edge here but that's something i can uh, deal with myself and <clears throat> Another issue is the riveting of the, the brass ends here. For some reason, uh, they haven't done on these straps here, uh, the little ones that come around, but on the one inch strap to the side and the two inch strap coming down, they've put the rough edge of the rivet out, facing out, which is strange, so that the, the nice uh, rounded head of the rivet is on the inside face of the, the brass there. But that's something I can easily remove these and replace them myself. So for the £30 saving, I don't mind that little bit of extra work. Overall, these are essentially the same. Uh, I from what I can tell, as, as you would buy from Soldier of Fortune, um, other than, obviously, the fact that the, the pouches aren't connected here and the, the, the riveting of the brass ends is, is better on the set of my, uh, Soldier of Fortune cartridge carriers that I have. Um, so I would say these are worth buying. Um, they're not really, as repros go, they're not bad. And the fact you get them with the postage included direct from India, I think they arrived within five days, uh, it's pretty good going, and I'm genuinely quite impressed by the quality of these. Time will tell how well they hold up in terms of manufacture. Obviously, I've, I've only just bought them, so um, there are some areas where the webbing's a bit loose and so on. How hard-wearing they will be remains to be seen. Um, but uh, another feature of these I'm very pleased with is the fact that they will, in fact, hold with a bit of work. I did have to stretch the pouches out a little bit. They will hold three chargers per 
uh, pocket, which is what they should hold. Uh, both of them I've tested this with, and they will both hold three charges each. So we'll have a look at that now, and then we'll move on, and I'll, I'm going to Blanco these. We'll put them on the mannequin with the rest of the set of the 1908 equipment, and you can get a visual idea of what they look like with the set, and sort of make your own judgment. Um, but there we are, as I say, this is uh, direct from India, reproduction 1908 cartridge carriers. Um, I'm pleasantly surprised. Uh, I was quite worried when I bought them, thinking, oh God, what have you done? What's going to arrive? And they really aren't that bad, um, especially con comparing them directly to the more pricey um, sort of fortune uh, reproductions. They are possibly even made in the same factory. Who knows? But uh, there we are. We'll have a look at this. Uh, we'll have a look at the right hand set now holding the uh, cartridges in their uh, chargers. So here we have the right hand uh, cartridge carriers. And as you can see, I've managed to get three charges into each of these. Um, it was a little bit of a struggle, I will admit, and I've left them like this so that they hopefully stretch out a little bit. Um, blankoing them may make them a bit tighter again. They certainly aren't an easy fit for three uh, chargers. You have to do some work. You have to stretch the pouches a bit and so forth to, to get them to fit. Some of them are worse than others. So in terms of manufacturing quality, that's something to bear in mind. Uh, naturally, buying this sort of thing um, from India, uh, there is a risk of manufacturing issues and obviously it's varied with this set from pocket to pocket depending on how easy it is to get three uh, full charges in each pocket um, but as I say it is possible to do and it's certainly with the ones I've bought again the other issue is of course that from batch to batch uh, quality can vary so there's no guarantee if you buy a set from the same uh, supplier that they will necessarily be able to fit three um, but as I say these have uh, the pair I have I have had three uh, charges in each pocket of the ones I've bought. Uh, they do fit just um, with a little bit of work. So there we are. For, for what it's worth, my set that I purchased, you can get three charges in each pocket. Uh, but now what I'm going to do is obviously I'll, I'll take this away, I'll blanco them, and then we'll have a look at them on the mannequin with the rest of the set of the equipment uh, to see what they look like sort of in general uh, as part of the set of equipment. And you can make your own judgment as to whether or not they look accurate or not uh, against, I would say, most of the rest of the equipment on the mannequin will be original. So you can make your own decision at that point. Um, but yeah, I'm, I'm relatively impressed with these. Um, up to this point, especially as they do hold, or at least the, the set I've bought do hold three charges in each pocket. As you can see, I've blankoed the cartridge carriers and they're here on the mannequin with the rest of the 1908 equipment set. Most of the bits and pieces you can see here are original uh, alongside them. They fit the original components very well, not had any problems there. Uh, I only have two, uh, two charges in each pocket at the moment. That's all I, I, well, I have more charges. I need more spent blanks and things to make good uh, pouch fillers. Um, but as I say, uh, quite impressed with these. They're, they're not bad. They're certainly up to the same sort of standard as you expect from Soldier of Fortune. And given you get a saving from that, if you're happy with the quality you get from Soldier of Fortune, these would be a good alternative and you save a bit of money. Um, as I say, caveated again with you, there is always a risk to buying on eBay from India is that different batches might vary in terms of quality. Um, that said, eBay generally have a very good return policy and so forth for buyers. Uh, which can be a bane to sellers, but uh, it does mean there's a little bit less risk involved, perhaps. So, as I say, a worthy alternative um, and saved a bit of money there on buying Soldier of Fortune, examples from Soldier of Fortune. And as I say, they look pretty good on the mannequin, although I leave it to you to judge uh, whether they are, whether they would fit your purposes if you're looking to buy a pair. So, that's pretty much everything I wanted to cover in this video. I've not done a repro review for a while, but thought this was a, a worthy topic. Um, if you like my channel and you'd like to support it, there is of course uh, Patreon, uh, which is linked down below. Thank you very much to those of you who are supporting me over there. Um, obviously, if you like seeing these mannequin videos, well, this isn't specifically a mannequin video, but if you like seeing the mannequin of the month videos, which are a bit of a staple for the channel, there is actually the opportunity to vote on each month's mannequin of the month over there if you're in the corporal tier. Uh, thank you very much to those who've also donated through PayPal. There is a link to that down below if you want to make a one-time donation. And as I say, uh, if you want to see more photographs of this sort of thing, again, I will post photographs up of this. Uh, check out the Facebook and the Instagram page, which are both linked down below as well. Of course, you can also subscribe to the channel uh, and make sure you hit the little notification button, the little bell down below, which will alert, alert you when I upload future videos. But that's everything for this video. So until next time, bye for now.